Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another movie review. And this time it's the origin story of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is a new twist on it. Um, I'm going to give this movie a 4.5. It was very good. It had some gross moments, had some crazy moments. So let's get into it. You see in the beginning that a guy and girl are driving down the road. This is like in the 50s. And something's in the road and they veer off. Well, the girl gets out the car and is like, it's a kid, it's a kid. And she runs after the kid and trying to help him. The guy's like, come, be, come back, come back. Well, the kid tricks her and she falls to her death. Well, lo and behold, she was a sheriff's daughter. And he was like, no, nope, we've let too much slide. This ain't working. You took one of mine, I'm going to take yours. Now, if you've ever seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacres, you know the premise is that the family's inbred. Well, the sheriff takes all, rounds up the kids, takes them from the mother, and especially the younger one. Well, years later, you see, you go to a mental institution, and everyone there's like, their kids, we change their names because we don't want their parents to be able to find them. We don't want them going back. Well, the mother, you know, she marries up and she's like, I have an attorney now. I want to see my son. He's like, well, we don't know his name. She goes, well, I have the visitation. He was like, well, you're going to need to get an injunction to get the correct name. And she was like, it took me three months to get this. Well, he's like, I'm going to tell you. Well, the mother being stupid runs through the ward and somehow all the inmates get loose. And it's anarchy. Well, <clears throat> her son, and for some reason, I cannot remember the name. He goes by Jackson. I can't remember his real name. And um, he gets kind of kidnapped with two of the crazy inmates that are a couple, a nurse, and another inmate. So they're on the run, they're on the run. Well, eventually they all come back. And they, um, the mother finds them. It's just a crazy story. I mean, this is a really good one. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to give too much away. But you see how he becomes how he becomes Chainsaw. I will say that. It's not as gritty as the other ones. There's some gross bits. There's a little bit extreme bits. But not like the other stories. This one, I could say, like, if your kid's trying to dip their toe in a scary movies... And they've, you know, they watch the Chuckies and all that. This one, I would say, you know, maybe give them a chance to see how they react to it. But, yeah, I would definitely watch this again. Other than that, I don't have anything to bring it to say to it. I don't really know any of the actors that were in it. The one actor I do know was Stephen Dorff. And he was a sheriff. And he was been, like, in Blade. So, that's where I know him from. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I'm going to take a nap because I'm tired, and I'll talk to you guys on my next review. Talk to you later. Bye.